So what happened was Scarlett was trying to get some, attention. To get some attention. And <laughs> Copper cannot have his mommy over attended to by somebody else. Climb on me like a mountain goat. Oh, Copper. Yes, this is mommy's spot in mommy and Copper time. She'll have to wait. Oh, Took a boy. A long time ago, before people had alarms, they woke up because the sun came up or the rooster crowed. You know? Or the watchman. Or because they had awful beds of straw and they couldn't wait to get out of that bed. Why are we up so early on the move, Cunningham? Milking cows! Oh man, this is bouncy. You're doing right. Milking cows. We're going to our friends, the bee man, bee, Adam Martin. We kept homestead. Look him up. We already did our bee class at Adam's farm, but we are homesteading, taking homesteading to the new next level. The new next level. That's like <laughs> a fresh newer level. You've never seen this level. level before. It's so new. And uh, that requires us to wake up very early and go turn left onto Brace, Brace Road. Morning milking. Gage, you look enthusiastic. <laughs> Gage, what did we hear this morning out in the woods? What did mom hear this morning? What did we hear this morning? Turkeys. <laughs> Goblin. That's a good gobble. They're having turkey party but we're gonna go learn how to milk cows and see if that's in 2.5 miles turn right onto okay. alexander springs road 72 Something hours from we now. Wanna do. Whoa, a dead gobbler i'm talking about milking cows yeah well as a man i can multitask are we gonna milk cows y'all you gonna wake up early and help me milk cows Some, some girls like our, our Amish cow up there, she's not real that concerned about the feed. But this one right here, if she runs out of feed, she lets me know. It's usually, it's usually like her kicking off the hoses. Um, so I already hooked this thing up, it's real easy, and, and I'll show you the swap out when I do it. She's really tall. So, how the Amish clean the, the teats is crazy. They just grab a hold of it and they just go like this on each one. I'll, I'll demonstrate it real quick. With their hand you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this they, they just go like this just to basically get any anything off of there. Good enough. Uh, us English we do a little more. <laughs> she's already spraying a little bit yeah? Yeah she's so I only milk once a day so um, she's ready for lots it. of grass so they're she's more than more than ready. She just, seems like, real like, tall. This so is just soap and water just a little bit of soap. And then I go around with a really wet rag at first, especially with Daisy because she likes to lay in her poo at night sometimes. And so it ends up being a mess. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll give it a quick. <laughs> and then this time I'll basically, because this is like a microfiber towel. So I give it a good squeeze so it's basically dry. And then go around one more time real quick. And then the first thing you do, most people use a, what's called a strip cup so they can actually see what hits the cup on the first. But I just look at the ground when I squeeze it and just make sure that there's no chunks, no sour cream, anything like that. And I know she's she's been in good shape. So I, it I looks know that, blue. What's that? It looks blue. Blue? So, did you so the, the milk? Oh, that's right, it did, I guess. So this is just working on air. And I just get these going. Are those unused nipples at the back side of her udder there? Correct. I call them stickers because I'm a deer hunter. Remember the <laughs> stickers? You'd have a like a horn sticking down off of a real nice eight point and they call it a sticker. <laughs> so yeah, she's got a couple extra. Check that extra out. Um, so it's that's so pretty much it. Like she's, she's going, I just keep feeding her face. I usually go do chores and come back. Um, it's so taking you, me back right now. I it seems this. like at about seven or eight minutes. When did you do it? I've come. 
Myself. Oh. With the machine. <laughs> At about seven or eight minutes, they seem to hit a little lull. And so I'll usually run up, do my stuff, come back, and then you can actually massage a little bit. And I let her know I'm going to do this before I do it. All right, Mama. Because there's milk all the way up there. Will that empty out? Will you get? Yeah. She'll be, you'll see, she'll be Really? Classic. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And she's producing about two, two gallons a day. Yeah, two to two and a half. How many do you milk here? Well, three, but uh, we've just dried off Tulsi because she's um, due to bird, get calf here in about another six weeks or so. Mama. Um, the stanchion, I mean, it's nothing fancy. I took pictures of one, the one that um, Jay Shannon had out there at Homestead Festival last year, which he borrowed from somebody else. So, and uh, I just came home and used recycled wood. Awesome. Um, I used this, basically a pallet, it was a large pallet to build it off of. The next one I would do, I would probably would do that. She's pretty. The only reason why I did that was to elevate it a little bit. <laughs> Are you a Okay, we're swapping cows here. Daisy, you did a good job. Look at the piglets. Piglets are being adorbs. Hey, a piglet oh. is hunting a piglet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where? There's piglets. Oh, you yeah. see? They're hunting. <laughs> Let's practice. I know, we got guests here, so you throw one out. Come on. Oh, she's stuck here. Hey, look at the ones that look like deer. I want to get her in here because now the ones that, oh, yeah. Greta won't run away. She's oh, Greta still... gets afraid. Yeah, she's because she's Amish. Look at that one. She's a little, <laughs> like she's a little shy. No. <laughs> Are you a shy Amish cow, Greta? Do you want us to do you want us to move back? Um move back. <laughs> Uh, would you, if you guys can just be like, like a Oh, here. oh, look at Frank up there. Uh, no, the... okay, that's probably too cold, but just to keep it from sticking. I don't like sticky ones. Mm -hmm. Lots of milk. Oh, and I also keep the lids on as I go, just in case milk splashes. In sure. The one. It's a lot of milk. A lot of milk. It didn't sound like that much. Like two gallons in there. It didn't sound like that. Well, it's more than yeah, she, two she gallons, because that's two gallons, well, I don't know how much is left, but those are four half gallons. Yeah. Huh. That's a half gallon. Huh. Yeah. Oh, for those of you who keep up, we, uh, Wendy showed recently our our shed was full of chicken poop because the chickens got in there and once they get in there once it's just a disaster so we're definitely we're in the midst of reclaiming it we're nowhere near done you can see it's a little worse over there but we are oh see we still got all that ain't great but there's some my neighbor told me that chickens um will it's like will are like guaranteed guaranteed to poop once every five minutes and uh 
I believe them. So we're getting everything out. Everything that's got pooped on got had to be sprayed off with pressure washer. And then we're of course getting rid of anything we can while we're doing it. Crazy, not fun. Yes, son. Hey, who saw Big Gobbler today? <laughs>